Hi all, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, it details how to generate invoices for field services in Odoo 50. New task can be easily created in the field service module by following the steps we have discussed in our earlier videos. Before creating a new task in the field service module, we can create a new sales order for this particular field service in the sales module. While creating a sales order, you can specify the details of the customer, invoice address, delivery address, quotation template, referral, expiration, price list and payment terms. So we can choose the customer from the drop down menu and later all the details will be added automatically. In the sales order line, you can configure the service product. You can create a new service product using the create option or edit the existing one using the external link available next to the name of the product. So we can choose the product here. And click on the external link. While configuring the product, you can select the product type as service. For service product, you will get three types of invoicing policies to select based on timesheet, based on milestone and prepaid or fixed price. So you can select the required invoicing policy from the given list. Additionally, you can mention project as field service and configure the worksheet template of the project in this corresponding field. After editing the product details, you can complete the remaining field in the sales order and click on the confirm button. Later, this sales order can be configured while creating tasks for the respective field service in the field service module. So we can go to the field service module. And then click on task creation option. Here we can provide the title for the task. Then here we can mention the details regarding project, worksheet template, assignees, customer, plan date, tax and also can activate the recurrent field. So we can choose the customer from the drop down menu. And here you can see that a new field appear that is sales order item. In this field we can add the confirmed sales order of this particular field service which we already created in the sales module. Then we can add the remaining details like plan date and here we can provide the tax and also we can activate the recurrent field. Then we can provide the description, timesheet, blocked by and the recurrence. So the timesheet tab will record the time spent by each assigned employee on this task. This Time record are necessary to generate invoices if you have selected the invoicing policy as based on timesheet. So you can manually record the time using the add a line option available here or else you can see the start button on the screen after saving the task. While working on this task, you can click on the start button and Odoo will record the time. In order to stop the recording, so we can click on the stop button. And a pop-up window will appear. Here we can provide the duration and can describe the activity. So we can click on save button. And it will be added here in under the timesheet tab. So this is how we record timesheets on task. So we can create a record of the material used for this task using the product smart button given in this window. So you can click on the product option and you will get the list of all product configured in the field service module. So you can select the product and quantity of the product used to complete the task from this platform.
After completing the task, you can mark the task as done. Now you will get a create invoice, sign report and send report buttons on the screen. So the send report button will help you to send a report about this field service to the concerned person. So you can click on that. And a pop-up window will appear which includes an auto-generated mail with an attachment of the worksheet of the task. So you can add the recipients in the corresponding field and click on the send button. The sign report button will help, help the customer to sign the task report from your website. So by clicking on it, Odoo will lead the customer to the website view of the report. As you can see here, the re task report include worker, customer details, time and material and timesheet of the assigned employees. So the customer can use the sign button to sign the document. The download and print option given in the window can be used to download the report to your system and take printouts respectively. Now the only button left on the screen is the create invoice button. This can be used to generate an invoice for the current task. So by clicking on it a window will appear so we can click on create an in view invoice button. So you will get a draft form of the invoice as shown here. The invoice line of the customer invoice will show the list of materials recorded on the particular task and the sales order line of the task based on the timesheet. The confirm button can be used to confirm the invoice after checking the draft form. Here we can click on the register payment button and click on create payment. So this is how we invoice field services in Odoo 15 based on the time and material recorded on a task. With the assistance of the field service module, you can effortlessly record the time spent by each employee and materials used for the task. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.